Hey guys, welcome to my first vlog. My name is Stefan and this is Steph's Engineering. This will be the first episode of a series of videos I'm going to make about this 3D print line I have standing right next to me. Um, it's not yet finished and I thought it would be nice to share the build with you guys. Uh, the printer is um, partially built and it, I even had it running for quite a while, but due to some issues I had with it, I decided it would be a nice idea to have it rebuilt and to improve on some issues I had with it. In this first episode, I will show you what I've built until now, what else I've planned uh, to build in the next uh, couple of uh, episodes. I'm going to do some uh, changes in the electronics, in the hardware and in the frame itself. The reason why I started building this 3D printer is because at the time uh, that I wanted to have a 3D printer, I really did not uh, see too much 3D printers on the market that would fit my uh, requirements for the 3D printer and also the ones that did have these uh, specifications well they were way too expensive so I decided to build one and another reason why I decided to build one instead of buying one is because I really like the challenge of designing and building one when it comes to the build it is actually quite similar to most other 3D printers in the Delta printer category. They are made out of uh, three main pillars and each pillar uh, is made out of uh, aluminium extrusion profiles. These profiles are quite common to use in these quite of builds. In the first version of the 3D printer I used a Mechatronics version 3 controller and had it operate uh, LED shine drivers and those that were connected to NEMA 23 motors. So I decided to upgrade it and uh, in one of the next videos uh, I will show you a more in-depth video uh, about the installation of the new uh, controller I have. It's, uh, I decided to go with a replicate uh, that is connected to a BeagleBone uh, mini computer. And I uh, will operate it with a touchscreen LCD screen uh, that's quite an upgrade also uh, from the uh, standard uh, buttons and uh, two row uh, LCD screen that's common with most uh, cheap 3D printers. Well that was one of the uh, main issues I had with the printer and there are two more issues uh, I have with it. Uh, one is that uh, the printer itself is quite strong but it could be stiffer. Um, the way it is built with the aluminium extrusions allows it to flex a bit in uh, almost every direction. Because I'm already uh, going to disassemble it and start from scratch to some degree, um, I think it's a nice moment to reinforce it with some steel um, cross beams. And, and besides that, I also want uh, to upgrade the 3D printer and the vector. Uh, and the push rods that uh, are connected to this intervector. In my first version, I used these push rods, carbon fiber rod, with some magnets pushed in the ends that are connected to steel balls that are on the intervector itself. In the new version, these push rods will be longer and the magnets will be quite a lot stronger and bigger because when it was operating at a higher speed, I noticed some uh, clacking uh, sounds of the magnets uh, coming loose from the steel balls. And well, that's not, it's not something you want. So I decided to, to upgrade that um, at the same time with the real build of the printer. As far as this 3D printer goes, it's a really nice printer, but it needs some love and some upgrades to make it really good. So that's it for this uh, episode of my build vlog. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a comment. And if you like uh, the video and would like to see more of the build vlog, uh, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. 
Have a nice day. Bye.